In this problem, I need to find the lengths of the missing sides and angles for this triangle here, where I'm given angle B, angle C, and side A. So we need to sketch a triangle just so we can put the information on. Notice it's a sketch. It's not accurate. It just gives us an idea about what's going on. So I'm going to call this A, B, and C. And we know that angle B is 79.2 degrees. I know angle C is 35.1 degrees. And I know side A is 11.3. Now remember, side A is opposite angle A, so it's right there. So I know A is 11.3. So we're going to have to find angle A. We need to find side B that's opposite angle B. So I need to find side B and side C because remember side C is opposite angle C. This triangle is not a right triangle so I can't use the Pythagorean theorem. I can't use trig functions with opposite adjacent and hypotenuse. So the things I can use to solve an oblique triangle are the sum of the angles equals 180 and the law of sines and cosines. Well, if you can see, I'm given two angles. So I'm definitely going to find the third angle, angle A, using the sum of the angles equals 180. So A is 180 minus 79.2 degrees minus 35 Point one degrees. And so I can find out that A is 65.7 degrees. So I've already found angle A. Now I need to find side B and side C. Well, if I have a choice of using the law of sines or the law of cosines, the law of sines is always a lot easier. So I always see if I can use that first. So the law of sines says A over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C. So to use the law of sines, I either have to know both of these or both of these or both of these. So let's have a look at what we were given. We were given angle B. We were given angle C, we were given side A, and we've found angle A. So now I can use the law of sines to find B. Let's find side B first using this, and then I'm going to find side C. Since I'm trying to find side B, I'm going to write this part of the equation first. So I'm going to have B over sine B equals A over sine A. And since I need to find side B, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by sine B. And so now I'm going to have B equals A sine B over sine B. A. So I've got side B here all by itself. And now it's just plug and chug. So side A is 11.3 times the sine of angle B, which is 79.2 degrees, all divided by the sine of A, which is 65.7 degrees. And now it's plug and chug in your calculator, making sure that your calculator is in degree mode. And I got 12.17885 dot, 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 dot. Surrounding this to one decimal place, that's the position of the one, the seven is going to round that one up. So I'm going to get B equals 12.2. And now the only thing left to find is side C. Don't be tempted to use the Pythagorean theorem because that only works on right triangles. 
So I'm going to have to use the law of signs again. And I could put this with this since I now know B, but if I messed up finding B, then C would be wrong. So I'm going to put this with this. So I'm going to have C over sine C is equal to A over sine A, just like I did before. I'm going to multiply both sides by the sine of C. So I get side C is A times sine C over the sine of angle A. So that's 11.3 times the sine of 35.1 degrees, all divided by the sine of 65.7 degrees. And when I did that on my calculator, I got 7.12918 dot, dot, dot. And rounding that again to one decimal place, that 2 is not going to round that 1 up. So I'm going to land up with C equals 7.1.